So, for today's vlog is all about how to submit your tax information. Okay, so I just show you a very simple way on how to fill up the form and submit your tax information. Okay, so first we have to sign in to your adsense account then second is click payments third is click money settings then fourth is scroll to payment profile and click edit next to united states tax info okay so the number five will be click manage tax information on this page or we are not uh, on the step six on this page you'll find a guide that will help you to select the appropriate form for your tax situation so we have step number one to step number six so you just have to follow this instruction in order for you to fill up the form and for you to submit okay so this are my simple tutorial and just watch this video so guys all we have to do is just to switch on to our adsense account here we go just click this once you reach here there's a red box here you just click this one this one just click this okay have a look in this part guys to get payouts from Google you have to provide your tax information and all you have to do is just to add tax info just click this below just click that then under United States tax info, there's a message down there. You gotta read it carefully. And after that, there's a message or a written down there which is what type of account is. So what we are talking about here is your legal name, not your YouTube channel. Okay, your legal name. So, so what you're gonna do is just click individual okay then we have to click next okay another question here is are you a citizen or resident of the United States if not then just choose to know click to know then after that just click next this next down here just click that and wait what's gonna be okay choose no then click next okay then in this part just select the w8 band okay so that's all you're gonna do but this still depends on the individual guys Let's wait for the next step and we just have to follow the instruction. Okay, let's just continue 
and and yeah this is what I'm telling a uh, few seconds ago just follow this okay in this section you have to choose a country of citizenship okay just click this part here and here we go example you're in your UK okay click that then after that you have to key in the address and click next here our US tax law may impose a 30% and so on just click no and click next and here comes the confirmation in step number four they ask you to check before you tick this the box here to make sure that all your info or your details are correct okay so once you decide that all your informations are correct just click this box here just choose that that you confirm everything okay then click next so in this section here guys it says here you have to key in your full legal name or your signature okay this serves as your signature you just have to key in your legal name not your YouTube name okay you, not your YouTube channel name your official birth name that's all you're gonna key in here as your signature you get it okay so let's proceed after that click next the index in this section here you just click yes okay under status change affidavit you have to read that carefully and click I am providing tax info for so on then down here click submit okay this is the last step and mission accomplished see it's been approved and after this I uh, Google theme will send you an email so just check it out and this is your email looks like this one so guys have you noticed guys uh, when it comes to the address in filling up the form there are two faces if you notice that there are two faces first face is to key in your permanent address and the second phase will be your billing address okay uh, they made that purposely because in case if you are not staying in your permanent address they can still I mean get your information in your billing address like for example my permanent address is where I belong so I just key in my permanent address there and since I'm not staying in my permanent address uh, for now so I have to key in my another address or in phase 2 for my billing address so whatever google will send me i will be able to receive it in my mailing address okay so once again in king our address there are two phases first phase and second phase first phase is for the um, permanent address and the second phase is for the billing address but if you uh, permanent address is the same address for your billing address you don't have to key in your address in phase two okay so that's all for today i hope you'll get um some good information in this video so that's all for today once again this is your host being to face see you again next time bye for now mm -hmm.